Oh, I gotta fix that. That's not good. Alright. I'm live on Twitch now. I hope. I assume. Yes? I am. Alright. Time for some more... It's not Crash Bandicoot. This is a nice and awesome game. This is Spyro 2. Crypto's Rage. Continuing from where I left off. Today I've bought my holy shit, I need to lower that bitrate. Okay, that bitrate was way too high for a 720p stream, but I have fixed it. And it's good to see that, as usual, the 720p options and all that stuff are there. So, you know, for those people that don't have much uh, fast internet speed or, or a good bandwidth, you know. That is now at your fingertips to take advantage of. Uh, so today, I'm going to continue wherever I left off, which I forget. I forget where that is. I do like the music here. It is very nice. Very nice to listen to. Just listen to it. Okay, you probably can't hear it that well over me, but... Uh... Let's turn the game up just a wee bit. There we go. Bitrate has been turned way down. <laughs> so we can't 100% this stage on the first go. We do need the um, head bash ability. But that does not mean that we cannot take advantage and get all the gems. There, thank you for releasing me. There are still five more satyrs trapped in stone. To be fair, I shouldn't even be streaming at 60 frames per second. Because all the old PlayStation 1 games of the past are 30 frames per second games. Whatever, you know what, it doesn't matter, who cares. I'm gonna stop talking about that because we got a game to play. I've got a game to play. I don't want to miss anything, because I know I'm going to. Gems! They are the source of my power! No, they're not. So, next Friday afternoon and at night, I will be streaming some always lovely Crash 
Queen's uh, Insane Trilogy next Friday, next weekend. I uh, don't know about 100%ing uh, the games or not, but I'm going to play through them for fun, that's for sure. Crash Bandicoot Warped will get uh, fully completed though, I promise that much. Just a little update on things to come. Those streams will be with solo commentary. Always lovely. Um, not much else to really say. So Spyro 2, everyone's all interested in Crash Bandicoot right now. All these people that have gone and gotten a... a pre -re a illegally released version of the game. They just couldn't take it. Some people just couldn't wait. Those people know who they are. And that is, a, that is many people. Bam that start button. Now that you have freed all of the satyrs, blah 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 blah. I'm not having much luck today, like they're all just getting to me. All of these enemies. I even died! I actually died. I died. How, how many... You're joking. I've killed all these enemies and I've died and now everything's like going back to start. That's a bit depressing. It's great to be free. It's great to be free. Now there is only one more. There we go. Can't take my progress away now, can ya? Yes, it can. It still can. Look at them all down there. They need to be... Need to be annihilated. There we go, but that's basically all of them again. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Don't even know why I was worried. So there's two things I gotta do with a supercharge. One, miss a whole bunch of gems. And two... Not fuck up and die like that! <laughs> oh god. 
Did I just lose all my progress again? I just did. I really don't like Fracture Hills though. And probably a little bit of it has to do with how badly I'm sucking right now. Oh boy. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Save it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I'm not going to feel so bad. Except if that happens. <laughs> this, is, this isn't my day for streaming, clearly. I should have been done with Fracture Hills by now, but I've got to come back here later. Oh nice, 4,000! No! No! <laughs> Worth it! Worth it! Absolutely worth it. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. Okay, that was funny. That was worth it. Absolutely worth it. Oh. Oh, what? What? Wait, I can do that? Oh, wow. I just feel like that's really cheap. I'm not going to keep trying. The sooner I get out of Fracture Hills, the better.
Don't even know what was going on there. That's that was not nice. I mean, I could come back later. It's a lot of work to do. Let's see. Now I can actually move on and get the rest of the stuff around here. Still missing. Oh, right. Probably, probably in there, right? Yeah, it has to be. Where's the entrance? Oh, well, there it is. Oh, where's the last gems? Over this way. Ah, oh, yeah, I see them. It. Oh, right, of course. Right, of course. I forgot about those ones. Let's get the hell out of this bloody level. Sparks or no sparks, I'll get out of here.
Oh my god. Kill me! Thank you. Where is it? Come on, there you are. Check out this cool cave I found. <laughs> Let's play a little game. Every so often, a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. I'll give you a... Okay, I got that one.
are really good. Is there any more down here? Nope, nope, that's it, isn't it? Alright, back up we go. Ah, you missed me. So it should. I suppose that slightly makes up for the loss I had with, um, Fracture Hills. Yeah. I guess, kinda. Not that you- not that we need to. It's done over this side, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't cheat. Whoopsies. I ain't getting back up. Oh, it's coming down anyway. Okay. time. I'll deal with those lava monsters. Bring them on. Oh, there's 12 of them. Forgot about that. Oh, and I'm completely missing all of these. There we go. Oh, God.
More gems. Give me all of the gems. I need them. Thanks, Spyro. Three of three. There it is. Yay! Save complete. I Nah, 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 nah. Oh my gosh, here we go. Thank you. 
triple kill. Yeah, had to. Helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. This is about as much as I can do at the moment. Oh, I know there's another thief. What am I thinking? You're welcome. That's just mean. That is mean. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all four. Yay. I'm not ready for him yet, though. 
He's gonna gulp me up. Wait. Oh, whatever. That sounded a lot better in my head. I would. Kind of doing this in reverse now that I think about it. Ah, who cares? I assure you this is not how the speedway is meant to be done. I could technically already go fight Ripto. <laughs> I'm not going to, but I could. I could go and fight him. And if I go fight him now... Actually, no, I have to fight Gulp first. Gulp's going to give me a lot of problem problems. Well done. Gulp. Gulp, we finally made Avalar ours. <laughs> You've earned a special reward. Gulp. Gulp, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. You singed my cape. Dragon, you are really starting to get on my Say goodbye, flame brim. Go. Lunch time. Go. Finish him off and you can have all the berries you can eat. I'm going to enjoy this.
Ah. Oh god, oh no, 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 no. Oh god, that just happened. Sounds interesting. I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Hey, where'd Laura go? I better follow her. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the dragon worlds from the super portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent! Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bomb. Quick, the to sell me a few bomb. Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ash. Not, f not a few bombs, just a few bomb. Just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something quick. Uh, hey, give that back. Well, I tried. <laughs> you little fool! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! Ah, uh, lovely music again. It's nice and relaxing. 
Sometimes. But so is this. That's not the relaxing part. The relaxing part is getting the sparks back. Well. Back to Autumn Plains. I'm not going to be doing Dragon Shores in this stream. Because technically at that point I already have 100%. So. All that is really for is for unlocking um, Super Flame for like a next, uh, for a new game. New Game Plus kind of, it's like a, like a New Game Plus kind of thing. But I'm not going to be doing that here. So that alone should save me about oh, 30, 40 minutes of stream. I don't know. I feel like this game should only pick, take about another hour and a half or so. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't talk to me. Like, somewhat made it. Okay, cool. Time to do the challenge I hate the most in this blasted game. Oh, what? Ah, oh, so he does go after that one. Ah, oh, what an annoyance. Hey, that was either the second or third time. It's the I think third time charm. Okay, this this one's easier. This one's easier. I'm so glad I didn't spend like thirty minutes doing this one. Oh, whoa! We 
Awesome. Easy as pie. Turn to Autumn Plains. Because I feel like being a bit of an idiot. I didn't die doing it though, so you know, you know how it is. Just talking to myself. Really? Shorty the hippo? <laughs> Not shorty anymore. Right, I basically gotta go through the level, don't I? Alright. Since I basically have no choice. Ah, Sebo, welcome to the stream! I'm doing pretty well. Uh, how are you doing, Sabo? Statehood Day, um, I'm not so sure what that is. Might have to explain that a little bit to someone like me who doesn't necessarily know what that's, that means. Okay. Ah, uh, so, so basically it's, um, the day that your area that you live in became its own state then, and it's a day to celebrate that I assume. That's pretty neat.
Well, uh, hopefully it's a good time then. If you're going out to celebrate, hopefully, hopefully it's a good celebration. If not, then uh, I guess just enjoy your day as is, I suppose. Hey, look, it's Agent Zero. Oh, God, I don't like dealing with him. And yes, if it hasn't been obvious, uh, This playthrough has been a bit more cheap because I've been using the the old double jump trick for it. Give me that orb. A forty nine. Is that's not right? Okay, maybe it's okay. Didn't seem right at first. Oh, cool.
Dude was his shit last. There's still gems up there. Let me go get them. You're welcome. 50 orbs. I'm a secret agent. It's usually the hardest part. <laughs> And I touched him. And I touched him. Yeah, I got here without following you, mate. Thank you for the last orb in this stage. Burn the potted plants. No, no, okay, that's not happening. Got to do that. Yeah, there it is, just waiting to be opened. Yeah, that's right, I just did that. Where else? I'm 
must, must, must be all the way back there. How did I miss it? Hundred bits, jeez. Oh gosh. Why? <laughs> oh, that's so kind of you to do. That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. It is certainly much appreciated. Thank you very much. Lovely. Oh, God.
Who needs 20 spirits? It's a rubber duck. Get all the stuff from down here. I think that's everything down here. Almost.
Well, there's the bastard. Last one. Wahoo! I'm back in business. Here, young dragon friend, take this. It's museum quality, but you deserve it. What's this last gem? Like, where am I? Oh, right, of course. The end of the level gem. Uh, orb. Right, orb. I meant orb. What? Oh. Hmm. All right, there we go. Now we can leave this stage. No more Mystic Marsh. And they fell asleep. Boom! You're awake now, aren't you? Slam the head. Boom, boom, boom. You're awake now, mate. So stay awake. Where to go next? I think I'm going to go to a little speedway. No. You know what? No, it's all right. Secret. Not really. Well, actually, it kind of is. It kind of is a secret. Like the way it's found and stuff. Yeah. This homeworld has a swimming in the air glitch. Which basically allows you to, well, swim in the air. While out of water, One but you're still swimming in it. It's a bit odd, but it's kind of cool. Canyon Speedway, easy speedway, not a hard one. I'm gonna enter it, do what I do, do what I do best, I think. Actually, I, don't, I feel like I'm, I'm not as good at speedways as I am in your other stages because, well... Well, you're about to find out. See, I already screwed up. Skill point. <laughs> There's always like special times to uh, that you have to beat to be able to get the skill point, and I guess I was just lucky enough to get it then, which is really good, I think. Now we just go do Hunter's silly challenge wherever the guy is. He's a bloody cheater, I tell you. No, like, like really, he's a cheater.
That's right, 25 targets. Blimps are one as well as the balloons. It's a very easy challenge if you just hold circle. Yeah, it's got to be circle. Oh, that was too close for comfort. Hey, who's the man? I'm the man. Actually, I'm the dragon in this case. 57 orbs of 64, almost done with the game. There's two more stages, and then there's the, the final boss. And then there's technically Dragon Shores, but I'm not in the mood to do Dragon Shores today. It doesn't go towards 100% anyway. Really, for 100%, you just basically take the uh, Super Flame, and that's it. Dragon Shores is basically... And Dragon Shores isn't even to unlock, like, freaking Super Flame in, in New Game Plus. It's just there as, like, a little fun thing to do. But, but regardless, it's 100%, like, without it, so... Oh, put my name in all caps there. And guess what, SD Nova? Skylander's engine totally suits Spyro Game for Remake more than Crash Bandicoot. If you look at polygons here, are very similar how it got improved through years. Oh, yeah. Thing is, though, it's just the Skylander's engine, right? But it's modified for the Crash Bandicoot game. Like, it's not the exact same engine, it's just, you know, slightly modified. It would be the same for Spyro, exactly, as well. Like, it'd just be a modified engine, yeah? But regardless, I get what you mean, though. Like, especially with how um, more open-world Spyro is compared to Crash. Like, Crash is basically, you know, forward, back, left or right. It's almost like a 2.5D game crash, Bandicoot. It's 3D, but it's not like open world kind of thing. Uh, as such as a platformer, but Spyro, you have more freedom, I suppose. But regardless... Um, both... Uh, the Crash games, obviously good. Uh, the Super Flame Perfect actually proves useful in speedruns. They get through Crash and Gobbles early and then clip OOB to get to Dragon Shows and go OOB and Dragon Shows again to get No, I'm pretty sure they use their own engine. Going in Sundiac. Colt Zero. Uh, the Super Flame Power Up actually proves useful in... Oh, of course it's useful in speedruns. <laughs> no reason why it wouldn't be. You get... You can get that max percent speedrun with a Super Flame Power Flame and like immediate, immediately pretty much. Like just every level you'd be up at 100% right away. Almost every level. They get through Crush and Gulp versus there. Of course they do. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? You get. Oh, they also get through the Ox boss up here, I think, as well. And then clip 
out of bounds. I didn't know you could get out of bounds in Dragon Shores, because I know you can get out of bounds in a lot of other stages, but not Dragon Shores. That's interesting. The Unreal Engine was around at that point when they did Spyro games, because I don't. But I don't think Spyro was built on the Unreal Engine. And why would it be? The only reason why I'd say it was around then was because I remember playing like um, Unreal Tournament with friends and well was it actually with the class really back in high school. Actually you know what maybe it wasn't but it was an old version of it of the Unreal Tournament game. So that's just what I think, but if it, if it wasn't, probably not. I did something you'd have to do a search online about, see if Unreal Tournament, uh, no, Unreal the engine was around. But... Truth is, like, Spyro 1, 2, and 3 all are built on the same engine. Like, there's no different engine used for either of the games. Some engines are designed better for, like, RPGs, though. Excellent work. But more often than not, like, people, they usually make their own engines for games, but... I guess it really depends. It's worth taking a Google search, though. You know, I'm gonna go through the search now. Um... No, it's it's their own, uh, uh... Oh no, that's the... It doesn't really say what the game engine was for Spyro. But it's an engine that stuck around until, um... PS4, I say? I think PS4 era of the of the series. Oh yeah, no, it's it's a it's an in-house uh, game engine. They used an in-house game engine. So there's there's the answer to that. They don't actually. They actually don't just get the super flame power up in Dragon Shores early. They also clip into that theater mode that you normally have to unlock playing one of the cutscenes. Actually, not unlocks all of the abilities you may usually buy from money bags, but also totally gets rid of money bags. Oh, what, really? Oh, wow. Speedrunning tactics at their finest. Havoc engine was used for Xenoverse. Um, yeah, true. But yeah, uh, Spyro. After a good search, uh, the engine was an in-house uh, development, so it's, it's not Unreal Engine or anything like that. It's an in-house uh, thing. My question is though, maybe and maybe you can answer this, Colt. Um, how do the speedrunners fight Goat without getting the talismans? There's got, there's got to be a secret to that, right? Because I've seen it happen. I'm just not exactly sure how they pull it off.
Is there like a p part where you can clip or something? Clip through on the... In Autumn Plains. Yeah, I know it. Is that like one of those ones that you can just double jump right through? I'm actually bring them to a place they can go out of bounds and got slide. Oh, Glenn. Ah, I see. I might have to practice that another time. Because I, I do like learning uh, tricks and stuff to the Spyro games. Even if I can't usually do them. Um, uh, Sebo, I assume you're talking about uh, the... What do you call it? The... I was gonna say spring. Yeah, no, it is spring, isn't it? I forget. It's, it's spring something. It's spring something. Spring. Spring savanna, right? The links are currently disabled on the on the on the uh, Twitch chat. They're gonna it's gonna to get deleted. It's gonna show up on the Twitch chat on in the stream though. And you can send a link, and I can just put it up on stream though. I can do that easy as pie. So feel free. I think. And you know, what, actually, I'll disable links. Can I do that from here? No, I cannot. Oh great, okay. Oh, it's a YouTube video. Well, the YouTube video link shows up on the Twitch chat in the stream, so... If anyone wants to check it out, you can put in all the info. It's right there. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www dot youtube dot com forward slash watch question mark v equals zero lowercase m lowercase a capital S capital O lowercase a capital A capital A M K W all those last three is as a uh, lowercase of course yay.
I assume it's the Spring Savannah video. Hey, now let's not let's not get into Spyro from Skylanders. That's not even Spyro anymore. You know what? I can't take the... Fuck it all. I didn't do this because... <laughs> oh god, that's that was actually kind of cool. Essentially what Colt said, um, cause like, the, the engines are basically, well as mentioned, it's just a core tool set, and just a lot of engines usually have, uh, more, uh, stuff that you can do with them, like either allowing you to have more vertices or something, or something else. Along with having just things make, being, uh, able to be gen easily, easier generated or something. Also, to uh, add on to your Legend of Spyro comment, uh, I reckon the games are alright. In my opinion, like they weren't bad. It, they were just a different take on Spyro completely, and that's the way they should be taken. 
in my opinion, right? Because that's what they are. It's a different take on Spyro. And I feel like um, sometimes they don't, they, they get a bit too, too much hate. Like a lot of it they don't deserve, it doesn't deserve. And that's usually because of people that are just dumb. Like the gen winners of Pokemon. They just um, can't take it because it's a different thing. But you gotta you gotta have like an open uh, mind to things, I guess. And it's it is meant to be a different take on the entire series, a very different take. Did it have flaws? Absolutely. Is it a bad game? Not really. Just different. Very different. I'm gonna die. Don't like doing this because this takes me a while. And, and in regards to it as well, like, you can't just take a game and, like, launch it or open it in that, um, like, in a copy of a game engine that you may have, right? You can't just do that either. Because you don't have the source files and all that, so. There's a, lo there's a lot of stuff that goes into them. Regardless though, like, you do, uh, need it. Crash Team, Crash Team Racing is going to happen. I, I think almost anyone who has seen the achievements of Crash and Saint Trilogy would tell you that. It's going to happen. And the Spyro remake, I'm sure based on sales of Crash and Saint Trilogy, may may happen as well, especially if there's um a big call out for it. The Crash and Saint Trilogy was uh, announced last year at E3 on the year of the Crash Bandicoot anniversary. So if there's going to be a Spyro remake, it would most likely be announced next year on the end of on the 20th anniversary uh, 20th anniversary year for Spyro, I think. But I do believe that there will be one. Whether one is necessary or not. But I think, I think it's not necessary because you can play them, especially if you have your PS3 and stuff, but it is, uh, it would still be cool to have for sure. I know I've got my freaking copy of Insane Trilogy pre-ordered. Now you just now it's just a waiting game. As as for Spyro, I'm sure it'll happen. I'm sure it'll happen.
Wait up. That's the last orb in the game. Now let's just get these last gems. Ah, 3D platformer, yeah. The Crash and Spyro games both, I think. Jack and... I've, you know, to be honest, I've never played a Jack and Daxter game. I've, I've never played a Jack and Daxter game. I've never played Ratchet and Clank. I mean, I tried Up Your Arsenal one time. I couldn't get into it, but I've also... I've never played Jack and Daxter, and a lot of people I know are annoyed at me regarding that. They're telling me, they tell me, you should bloody hurry up and play this game, it's a good game. And they know who they are. But yeah, I've just never played one. The PS4 already has a lot of good games as it is right now, and a lot of good games coming out. Uh, that aren't shooters. Like, look at Nier Automata, that was a really fun game. I played the demo, at least. That was absolutely fun. Persona 5, uh, big deal. A lot of people that was really liked. Amongst other games as well that's out on PS4. Final Fantasy 15, to name one. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of good games coming to PS4. As for Xbox One, Xbox, go home. <laughs> It's true, though. It's true. I like that idea. Dragon, you just sealed your fate. I haven't played in, uh, any of the NAC games. Well, I've only just recently got a PS4, so I've only got one game, on it, which is Final Fantasy XV. I've, I've, and the demos I've played. I've played a lot of demos. You can call Square Enix as bad as much as you want. It doesn't change the fact that they've made very memorable games. Like Final Fantasy. Um, I believe that they even are the ones that have been developing... Uh, what do you call it? Kingdom Hearts? Aren't they behind that as well? I'd like to think that Square Enix has at least a good track record with games.
in its speedruns. Of course, it's in the speedruns. Anyway, so if you're saying that Activision is untrustworthy and Scre Square Enix is untrustworthy, are you saying that we shouldn't trust the trust the Insane trilogy and how well it's uh, turning out with Activision behind its publishing? I've not been imagining a Crash remake since I've been a kid because I was a kid when they originally came out. And to add to that, I've only been I've, the only thoughts I've had of a Crash remake has basically been around when the uh, whole announcement happened. You know, back well not the announcement but um Back when all the teasers were happening in the, at you know during PlayStation's um, reveal and all that kind of stuff. Because of that, and because I still can play these games. Remaster or not. But the remaster is absolutely cool to have, the remake. Well, the, the plan is to see how well the Insane Trilogy goes. And if it goes well, well, you've got a new Crash game coming. Along with probably CTR as well. How many times have I played Spyro 2? Um, long, many, many times, that's for sure. Spyro got kissed. Spyro got kissed. Uh, anyway, I've played Spyro 2 uh, many, many times. I finished it th uh, two times on stream at 100%. This would be the second time. And just, in just times I've played before, it's just... I've just played it so many times. So, so many times. I, can't, I think I've lost count. I've yeah, I've lost count of how many times I've really played. Let me just type in the new coordinates. 
sand? There. Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shore. Just many, many, Why many times. Me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to do. A lot of vacation to do. Oh god, that's funny. Yay! Credit skipping. And of course, Dragon Shores. I really want to try out this cl um, clipping out of bounds here. I assume it's like Gotta be doing something wrong, right? Oh, really? In the form of reused voice samples. Oh. Well, that's one way to still get in it, though. I know it's possible to... Oh, it used to be. It used to be possible to get up there. Oh well, that's it. That's it. Game over. Of course, it, the egg thieves. That makes sense. What does I think? Well, I mean, it, they are the same in both games, so. All right. Well, anyway. Yeah, they did. They did use them throughout the games, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I'm just I wanna see about that crack in the wall near Gulp. Cause that that'd be really curious. I already know about the swimming in the air glitch in twin in winter tundra, which is still kinda tough to pull off, but I'm now just curious about um, the part here to get to gulp, because it'd be kind of fun to one day just do a run. Just yeah. Oh, so it has to be done without it being broken. One of those kind of deals. That would make sense. Ah, uh, all right.
So it's not like there's any secret area I can go around. I have to... Yeah, I, all right. I guess you'd clip through or something like that. Right. Oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. Well, I'll have to try it another time for sure. That has been Sparrow 2, Ripto's Rage. Yeah, I, I do. I kind of understand how to get up there because you, you just, you know, you use the whole um, double jump trick near the, near like all the start where the ladder stuff is. It's a bit of a hassle to get up there. But anyway, that's been Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. I am going to go and call it quits. So thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for... Some little tricks that I'm going to have to test out another time, Colt. Thanks everyone for coming by, having a little chat. And that will be today. Thank you everybody, and thank you to Okamikaji for that 100-bit donation. That's insane. 100 bits for 100%, I guess. No, I don't know. Also, uh, Colt Zero, thank you very much for the follow on Twitch. And also the Crystal Onyx 93. Thank you very much for the follow on Twitch. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Next weekend, I should hopefully be playing the Insane Trilogy. So until until then, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And until the next stream. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Dig it.